I'd like to come back and catch a bigger one, that's for sure. That's a cracker, isn't it? Well, that's a cracker, isn't it? It's been a bit of a tough night, and going into day two, here's what it's done to the leaderboard. Basil and Steve Bull is out in front with 104 points, but fish biologist Dr Paul Garner is chasing hard on 86. Damien Bracken's in joint third place with 80 points, tying with Steve Briggs. Our lone lady angler, Angie Clayton, is fifth on 53. The sun's up, the birds are singing, and all's well with the world. But not for everyone. The mosquitoes and the deluge of rain deprived me of any sleep I planned, and uh, I'm really tired at the moment. I've got fish lag or whatever that's like, what that equivalent is. Um, it's not gone the way I planned it. I, I thought it was going to be a lot easier than this to catch maybe five decent uh, rated fish in the point scale, and uh, I've got one carp of ten pound a common which is okay. Uh, I've got a bream 214 and then I've got a perch at five and a half ounces and a roach two and a half ounces. So it's not really, not really shaping at the moment. Had a lousy night, got soaking, invaded by toads. It was a disaster. So I just been back and had some breakfast and I'm going to start all over again now. Hope for better things. I'm with Dr. Barbel, Paul Garner, and it's no surprise to me that he's established himself near the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. You can tell by the way he handles his kit, he knows exactly what he's doing. For me. Oh. This is another good fish. He takes his time, but you know, you can just tell that he's completely in control. That's a counter. Yep, yeah, few more points. There we go. Get it. Oh. Yes. Hang on, what's Keith Bridges into here? The plonker. <laughs> this looks like a bit of fun. It's going to go for it, sir. Just reel it in. There we come, boys. <laughs> yes! <laughs> There's plenty of points in a perch of that size, and there could be some more points in the bag for the man in red. I'll tell you what, this competition is half interesting. Take Jan Porter as an example. He made his name as a matchman, then started chasing bigger fish, and it looks like it's lucky he did. A couple of years ago, he'd have fished with a feed as a catch bream, but now it's all bite alarms and carp rods. This event's helping him prove just what a good angler he is. That's a decent bream, and the bait's not a secret either, is it? It's blown the worm right up the line. <laughs> look at Andy McDonald. That is a concerned look if ever I saw one. He's called for the scales, and I know he's been fishing for chub. I reckon he might have one. I think we could both be wrong. It's only a tiny little one. Hopefully, it's a chub. Okay. And there's not many being caught, so it could be worth points for it. <laughs> and he's getting in the idea. Still trying to chase the elusive chub. I'm going to go for a chub, I think. Wait for a chub. I might go and have a stroll down the river, have a go for a chub. Great Linford's a beautiful fishery and a very, very big one. And although some anglers are settled in, a few of the others are making a move. I'll bet a lot of them, like Dave Lane, are off to the river. The three main sections of it are Havisham Weir, Dumpstones and the River Pool, and my tip for where the majority of anglers will head is Havisham. 
Apart from the usual roach and perch, there's the outside chance of a river carp, but the favourite for mega points are barbel, and there'll be one or two about.